Hello everybody and uh, welcome to another video sponsored this week by Lexar and their fantastic memory cards. Uh, more on them later but basically this week I went to Italy to do some street photography and I did so with this pretty much exclusively. This is my Sony a7R Mark IV and on it I've got a 50mm f2.5 lens. Not a particularly fast prime f2.5 but it's built fantastically, it's sharp as anything and as you can probably tell it's also really really lightweight. So. Uh, I like it. And I say pretty much exclusively, I did shoot some photos with my other setup, which is currently filming this video, which is a Sony a7C, and on that I've got the 20mm f1.8. But for the most part, this was my setup, and uh, here's how I got on. Actually, quickly before that, uh, I've got a print sale on my website. I've added loads of images, and uh, those images are on sale as prints, including some photos from Antarctica. I uh, don't know how long that sale will last, to be honest, probably until I get a bit overwhelmed with orders. Yeah, I don't know how long that'll be, but basically they'll ship in the middle of April. So uh, if you're interested, probably best to order sooner than later in case I close down the sale. Uh, anyway, yes, here is how I got on doing some street photography in Italy. <laughs> All right. There is nothing better, well, there are better things, but there aren't many better things than walking around an Italian city on a cold, sunny morning. Makes it sound like I've done it a lot. I haven't really, but I do love it when I get the chance. Oh yes. Oh, person. Perfectly backlit. Well, not perfectly, but uh, backlit for the most part. Sun's just off to one side a tiny bit. That looks crazy. I just love those sheets. I, uh, I might have mentioned this before, but whenever I do a video like this, lots of people in the comments always say, oh, I saw loads of photos that you didn't take, but that's, that's sort of the point of photography. I mean, if we all saw the same stuff, it would get quite boring quite quickly. So hopefully you're seeing things that I'm not, because uh, well, that's the, the beauty of individuality. Yes, perfect. Just wanted a whole shadow in this bit of sun and we got one. Right, San Marco. Uh, I was here last night, or over there. I came for a wander when I got off the plane, and uh, there was a, an anti-war protest going on, which I'm all for. 
And uh, I mean, it was all in Italian, so I assume it was an anti-war protest. But yeah, a bit quieter this morning. One early observation I've got about Venice is that because there are no roads, and because you can't really cycle all that easily either, well, mainly because there are no roads, uh, there's no kind of fast-moving stuff. Everyone's walking, and if they're not, they're on a boat which is moving fairly slowly. So making the city look kind of dynamic is tricky. Or I'm, I'm finding it tricky, other people might not. Pretty nice uniform. I like that. Just, uh, just gonna put the silent shooting on. Not stop people getting quite as nervous that they're having their photo taken. Right, a couple of hours in, and I have some learnings about Venice. I think I'd be better suited to shooting this city with a 24 and an 85, like I had the other week in Wales. I wish I'd saved the, uh, the borrowing of those two lenses for this video, to be honest, but never mind. What's done is done. And I started to suspect that 24 and 85 would be better when I was out shooting last night. I think this is a, a dead end. Or is it? Um, yeah, I didn't do much. Yeah, I think it's a dead end. I didn't do much shooting last night. I was mainly eating crepes, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it seemed to me that uh, 50 was just somewhere in the middle. And uh, yeah, I'd be better off with an 85. But hey ho, we're here now. And I'm sure I can come back. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. I've, uh, I've not had some form of bread for about two hours, which I think is a record for me in Italy. I shall have to try and find something. Luckily in Venice, really not difficult. <laughs> Prosciutto Calzoni. Win. The, uh, the shadow of that bird on the wall is pretty cool. Beautiful. That guy was cool. He uh, really going the extra mile with the anti-war sentiment and Ukraine glasses on, which I love.
Hello. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get some bird shots here. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Right, what I'm looking for here is shadow in that bit of sunlight. If that makes sense. So far, I've not timed it that well. It's quite difficult to tell when someone's coming. Let's go, high burst. Right then folks, well that might be that. I've got about 8% GoPro battery left uh, and I've got about 15 minutes till I need to be back at the hotel and on my way to the airport. If I get any more shots, I'll show them now. But outside of that, good day, I think. Uh, yes, so that's how I got on in Italy with this setup and that a little bit. Uh, as I mentioned, I think a 24 and an 85 might have been a bit better, but I did I did enjoy my time shooting with, with this. Made a lot of mistakes, uh, chopped feet off and chopped shadows off and stuff, but nevertheless, I had fun. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and a big thank you to the sponsor of this week's video, Lexar. So all the images were shot with the Lexar 2000X SD card, which is available in capacities from 32 gig all the way up to 256 gigabyte. Uh, now this has read speeds of up to 300 megabytes a second and write speeds of up to 260 megabytes a second. And what that means in short is that if you're shooting in burst modes with a 61 megapixel camera, this card can handle it. And of course the same thing goes for things like 4K slow motion video. And they're backwards compatible with UHS-1 devices. So as you can see, if you've not seen UHS-2 cards before, it's got two rows of pins, which is one of the reasons it's so fast. Uh, and perhaps most importantly of all, it's durable. It's built with durability in mind, so it's temperature proof, shock proof, vibration proof, which is very handy in places like Antarctica. Uh, in places like Italy, or Venice particularly, uh, the only shock this thing experienced was the price of coffee in a good way, very cheap. But uh, yeah, fantastic cards, and you can check them out in the link in my description. So yes, thank you to Lexar for making fantastic cards and for supporting this channel. And uh, thank you to you for watching and buying prints, if you've bought a print. I, uh, I very much appreciate that, because it helps me to reinvest in the channel and go to places like Italy to do some street photography, which I, I very much enjoy. So I shall see you next week when uh, I'll be back in Wales shooting, I imagine, which I've not done for ages, quite looking forward to it. Uh, but until then, take care. Thanks for watching.